Okay, so here's the wiring for the uh, resistance, voltage and current injection tests. Um, they're all been wired at twisted pairs. Channel 2 and channel 12 will do voltages and resistance and channel uh, 21 up here will be used for the current and again it will be installed into slot 3 and put the lid back on there we go you can just move him over there and push back in and there you go and there he's all ready for the injection tests so we have a little bit of an issue uh, with the calibration. This is DC volts on channel 302 at the moment. It's wired as a twisted pair. Into a Keithley 2450 source meter, which is currently set to 100 millivolts. I've set this channel up to 100 millivolt range. And um, let's just go 10 PLC as long as well. Uh, uh, and it doesn't like it. It thinks everything is overload um, and if I go back and put him up of a range you can see there it thinks it's 119 uh, take him up to 1 volt and again he goes overload uh, if I take him up to 10 volt range because he's 1.2 volts on the reading. Um, I will set up another meter and um, we'll see what he gives. Okay, I've now set up a Fluke 8846A in parallel with the key site. Initially it read the same as the key site DAC um, and I then changed settings on the source meter to source voltage and read voltage back. Uh, and now it seems to have corrected the output um, despite that being 1 and this was at 1.18 it's also read 1.18 as soon as I changed the settings on the source meter everything's gone back to reading 1 now so we shall be able to proceed I would hope if I rechange these settings back down to 100 millivolts um, let's uh, now a question of which one you believe whether you believe that that's a hundred these two that are fairly comparable so resistance I'm actually doing with this decade box um, but we've got one uh, all right, 100 ohms so we need to set up 302 again isn't it uh, 302 channel measure four ohms range is 100 ohms and the reading is and the final one is 10 mega ohms 10 mega ohm range and, uh, and then we want to two wire ohms then for 10 megs and 100 megs uh, so if I pull there's two out to reset him uh, the channel we need to go on 10 meg but we need to go ohms to uh, 10 meg ohm Okay, so this is one AC voltage test I can't get within spec at this moment in time. I've got the AC power source from BK Precision that actually just powers the high voltage amplifier. That's uh, this big box here you can't see too well. That's providing a 70 volt 300 kilohertz signal that's being controlled via a small waveform generator. And you can see I'm on 70.78 volts. Get 71.9 volts on the DAC. This is in UCAS calibration this one so should be reasonably accurate but there is an awful lot of movement in it and I suspect some of it will be 
yeah actually it's even picking up that's the problem with these some of these tests it's even picking up on these uh, two here for me isn't it 68.6 69.8 are they still about 1.2 volts difference Yeah, 1.1 to 1.2 volts difference, which should be 800 millivolts difference, max. Frequency, smack on. But that's got one digit more. No, that's all I can get out of it. <clears throat> Set up for measuring the currents. He's now on channel 32. One or channel 21. There. I've got the waveform generator now feeding into a current amplifier which is feeding both of the fluke and the DAC in series and then I can adjust the output frequency and voltage from here to adjust the current the two meters are seeing. Yeah, There's a little bit of noise kicking around that was bad as on the voltage. I've got to go to lower currents yet which could get a lot more taxing but we'll see what happens.